Welcome everyone to day three of my 31 days of horror. It is going to be another PC game. I still haven't found my stupid little remote so I can uh, record using my Evermedia capture. Um, so if I can't find it by this weekend, I might just start getting ROMs of the older ones because I'm sure you guys want to see some Silent Hill and Resident Evil and all that stuff. But uh, for today, it's going to be Scratch's Director's Cut. I don't really know anything about this game except that it came with a pack of horror PC games, most of them indie, that I got on, on uh, the Humble Bundle a while ago. Um, any hoozle. I unfortunately there there doesn't seem to be any options in the setup for you know bigger screen or anything like that so uh, I don't know I guess it's kind of an old game but yeah I don't know anything about it so let's plunge forward um, the, the director's cut I guess this one all right hopefully this game is scary because. Uh, State of Decay, Decay was not scary. Uh, Lone Survivor was kind of scary. Actually, it was really scary at some point. But, uh, Scratches. I remember there being a horror movie named Scratches that was actually pretty bad. Or maybe I'm thinking of Slither. I don't know. <laughs> so we got a nice dilapidated house. We got a very staid looking couple over in the far corner of their house. Kind of looks like a bad Photoshop job. <laughs> Picture of a mausoleum, always cheerful. Daniel Chase. And some tentacle porn, always fun. Oh, it's a fountain by a weird angle. Never mind. Hey, it looks like the fountain from Amnesia. <laughs> so I think this game is older than Amnesia. Yes, indie horror games existed before Amnesia. Shocking, I know. Aw, that paper's gonna disintegrate. What a boring picture. Here's some chairs. I like chairs. I mean, I work for a company that sells chairs, and even I'm like, whatever. Okay, okay, I'll be quiet. Enjoy the, the fantastic opening cutscene. I arrived at Blackwood Manor one cold Saturday morning amidst a thick veil of fog. The weather did the ravens. Good, and there was an unnatural calm surrounding the area. Yet, I soon became entangled with the place. How many horror games start with a car driving on scene? All of them? I think all of them. Or sometimes there's no car, you just start there, like State of Decay. Or uh, Silent Hill. Wow, those trees look identical. This is obviously a very high budget game. Hey, that's really close to the date that it actually is today. Actually, not that close. It's it's the second as I'm recording this, but. The sky, the cloudy sky above me seemed rather unsettling and almost made me lose my balance. I felt a curious urge to run for shelter, and my new home in the distance seemed very inviting. I don't know what you're talking about, but that is not, that is not what I would call inviting. What? What? Oh, it's a click adventure? What? Is it? I don't know. I can't tell. What's going on? How do I move? <laughs> What? This is very strange. Move. Whoa. I can open my car. Let's just drive away. Let's just leave. Leave this whole place. Okay, I'll take my keys. It is a click adventure. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. It was the car starter. It was the car starter. Okay, go away. Nope, I don't want to escape. I just want to... I want to leave. Aha. So how do I walk? Aha! I have to go around. That is a really fast camera speed. Can we make it not super fast? Camera speed... Slow. There we go. Because I got my sensitivity up quite high, so... It's actually not any slower, but alright. 
Uh huh. Click adventure game. Wow, I bet you guys weren't expecting that. I definitely wasn't. But, here, come back. There's a. There's a. D d Aha. Alright, alright, let's go back inside. It's funny because I was just watching Let's Plays of uh, Mist and uh, Riven, which are some very old games from the 90s and I think early 2000s. That's not what I want. Let's right click that had my inventory. Uh, what is this? Use the key on the door. With very little effort, the key unlocked the front door. Very little effort? Should I be worried about that? Well, at least it's nice and cheerful inside. It's actually not as dreary inside as it was outside. So we got some lovely pictures. Let's look at some random art. Ah, uh, it's some random art. Yep. Weird, excuse me, looking frame. Whoa! This camera is drunk. Ah, lovely vague art. A staple of many horror games. Um, isn't that only half of the whole god-touching finger thing? Whoa, 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 we got a phone call. Where are you, phone? Phone! Phone, phone, phone. Eh. Right here. Phone? Oh, it's a little tiny... Oh, it's a glass. Okay, I thought it was a little tiny light. I was, I was about to get excited. Well, I missed the phone call. Oh well. Hey, a book. Oh, great reading. <clears throat> February 6th. The construction of the railway bridge is almost complete and went quite, quite smoothly. It took longer than I expected, yet I would have. I wish it would have lasted longer. I will be very sad to leave South Africa. Why is it always South Africa, these freaking games? I've become so attached to it, its culture, its arts, was this before or after apartheid, over the past few months that I can't help feeling as if it was already a part of me. I will surely return someday. Soon, hopefully, though I'm afraid there's a great deal of work to be taken care of back in old Britain. Fortunately, I made good friends here who were ecstatic about my new appreciation of their country. They have offered me some wonderful objects as a token of gratitude, which I have already created and got ready to ship, along with many tr trinkets I bought myself. It looks like I'm about to start a very substantial collection. It's a good thing Catherine- What? Really? Catherine, straight from mist, agreed to move into our new home. Although I fear several renovations will have to be made. Even more if I'm intending to start a serious new hobby. It seems I'll have to get back to work. John Patterson, <laughs> that's a fake name, has just told me some natives are causing trouble. A very unfortunate thing, although I'm secretly rejoicing. He's rejoicing that natives are causing trouble. February 12th. The natives won't leave. It's not like they're causing trouble so much as they're unsettling our workers. The only complaint so far has been distraction. They just stand still between the trees staring at us without blinking an eye. I've watched them for a few minutes and they truly seem like some tenebrous statues. At first it was just annoying, but lately it has become downright creepy. They seem to be stalking us. So it's not like they're hindering construction, but there is a general uneasy feeling as if they were about to jump at us at any moment. I think I will hire some protection as a means of precaution, measure of precaution. Yeah, you think so? February 15th. Fascinating! I have been looking into these natives. They live in a nearby village and are a very small group, yet they seem to manage quite well. I have thought of them as quite an uncivilized tribe, but their movements are calculated and one can perceive a sense of careful organization in their tasks. Oddly enough, they seem to be very brutish, and their aspect looks awful. It's not very nice. Although I couldn't take a good look at their facial features, as I followed one of them completely on my own, and it could have been dangerous getting any closer. Also, what happened to hiring help? Also, the village is poor and very rough, but some of the shacks left out as inviting or special. Well, you found this house inviting, so whatever. It made me very curious. I will try to come closer tomorrow. February 16th. My second expedition into the village of the natives has been foiled by an unexpected problem at the bridge. I'm afraid it was due to a slight miscalculation on my part, an indication that I should be focusing more on the task at hand and put my sudden love for all African things aside for a moment. It was my fault, and I accept it. That was vague. February 20th. <clears throat> they are at it again, lurking beyond the forest. It's amazing how they have changed our perception of the surroundings. At first we were delighted by the quiet nature of the place. Now we fear what horrors might be concealed in that dark and foreboding, foreboding cloak of trees. The tops loom above us, overshadowing the bridge, and strange noises haunt our meals. Even the river 
telling ungodly secrets. We could be, of course, a bit more sensitive towards distractions, but I can't help feeling the area has in fact become more sinister, and yet I'm still looking forward to satisfying my curiosity about the tribe. Of course, I bit my tongue, so it's hurting already. Uh, February 24th. At last I found something more about the neighboring tribe. This is an incredible finding, and I just can't withhold my excitement. Some elders at the local town happen to know about them, but only through stories they heard. The most surprising thing is that the tribe was assumed to be extinct long ago, but according to my vague descriptions, the elders think that we could be dealing with a legend here. Everything they ever heard of them was during their childhood, when the tribe was stalking the town, much in the same way they have been stalking us. Well, apparently they don't do much, they just stare at you if the, the whole town is fine. People used to call them... Dlom, I think it says. As much as the sound of screams heard echoing, as such was the sound of screams heard echoing late in the night. They'll. Oh, they'd come out. Okay, so Dlom. <coughs> They'd come in, out into the streets and see an evil glitter atop a hill in the distance. Some would say it was a fire, others the cursed spirit of a, an ancient god. Whatever it was, they say the bright light amid those fantastic screams was bone-chilling. The macabre scene would suddenly stop just as it had begun out of nowhere, never to be seen again in days to come. Intervals between those horrible nights became longer and longer until they soon faded into oblivion. The tribe apparently had retreated back into obscurity until now. Evil white men bringing them back out. They were later known as the Dalmar, not to be confused with Delmar, which is a rich area I live near, uh, a rather more scientific name, although none of the people I spoke with could possibly remember its origin. Scientific? I find it extremely surprising that nobody has ever heard about this tribe with the exception of a few townspeople. They must be incredibly rare, and judging by the stories passed on from generations of the town, very old. Blah, 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 blah. How many pages is this left? Okay. Whoops. Sorry. So there's only three pages left. I might as well finish reading it. And then no more books for a while. Because my tongue hurts. February 27th. I will confess I've become nearly obsessed with this strange tribe. I see them as the most prized goal of my appreciation towards all South African things. A dangerous yet irresistible reward. I feel as if they were my discovery. I simply have to study them before leaving. I fear I won't have the chance to ever again. This has become an important goal of mine, even more important than finishing the bridge. Obsessed much? March 4th. Finally, I've managed to see them. My god, what a disturbing spectacle. When we arrived, they were moving around the village very slowly without speaking or communicating with each other, each minding kids her own, her own business, completely alien to the rest of the world. They were filthy looking, coarse, and downright disgusting. I couldn't see any weapons, but they could have been stored anywhere. It was all, what, up their bum? It was all very strange behavior in a tribe. They must be quite unique. Then, as if they had suddenly all become possessed by some wild spirit that began shaking spasmodically and screaming like mad. Some of them dropped to their knees and lifted their heads to the skies, eyes blank. Uh, skies. Sky. Eyes. There we go. Sky. Eyes blank and moaning in an indescribable way. Two of them walked away, still in that monotonous and slow manner, and in great contrast to the rest of the scene, into a shack. The next minute they brought into out into the open an odd-looking mask. Its shapes, colors, and overall looks, while unsettling, were mesmerizing, and I felt instantly hypnotized by it. It rendered my modest collection of African curiosities into dull and uninteresting items. The mask was very ominous, and the whole tribe seemed to greatly revere it. Soon they began to gather around it and move in circles, fluttering and chanting a guttural psalm. Judging by their motions and aspect of the whole ritual, it must have been some kind of war ritual. I'm not sure how to explain what happened next as I feel my pulse is already throbbing. Words fail me to recount the most disturbing thing I've ever witnessed. One of the male villagers, let me guess, someone killed somebody. One of the male villagers walked into the middle near the mask by his own will. It was an almost automatic act. All of a sudden, his the remaining members became silent. I can't tell for how long it lasted, but I was afraid to breath. Typo. I think Dalby and the others were also scared. They wouldn't even blink. I remember being soaked wet and expectant. Wait, what, soaked wet? Where did the wet come from? The silence was so unnatural. Then a few members separated from the people circling the mask and jumped on the single villager, beating him to death. To be completely faithful to the event, the small clap crowd tore him apart. They grabbed his legs in twos and threes and twisted them in a manner I dare not describe. His face was disfigured with their bare fingernails and teeth and the torso soon disappeared under the frenzied tangle of hands. In a matter of a few minutes, the villager was turned into a red sack of bones. Not one of the uh, attackers had the compassion to snap his uh, neck during the sickening process. All was very methodical as if it was just another mundane task. The most terrifying aspect, though, was that the victim didn't even cringe. The silence was so deep I could hear his flesh ripping. I would... I guess that's supposed to be in italics? I don't know. You think that, like, halfway through this, he just would have been like, fuck this shit and leave? Not be like, oh my god, it's so fascinating. Ugh. I would expect any living creature to scream its guts out in such a condition. I can't tell whether he was drugged or half asleep, but I did recognize him dancing like everybody else before walking into the middle of the circle. This is reminding me of the end of Silent Hill 4. <laughs> it was the most outrageous, if you get the bad ending. 
It was the most outrageous and sadistic sacrifice I've ever heard of. I don't think I will ever forget what I saw. I would hope not, otherwise you have a really shitty memory. My intentions of approaching further, even if they didn't have any weapons at hand, vanished. The creatures, I dare not call them human beings, could have killed my whole company in the blink of an eye with their rage. They seemed to be completely out of themselves and willing to destroy anything intruding into their path. While the images of sacrifice still haunt my thoughts, I can't seem to forget that mask. It was so deceptive, simple, and yet perfect in its design. I haven't seen anything like it. I surely would love to take a better look. I feel the Dalmar, dangerous as they are, could be the most important ethical, ethnical, ethnical finding in de decades. <laughs> I was going to say, not ethical. What I've seen today is crying for some further investigating. I just can't leave them like that. I would never forgive myself. And the mask. That mask. Okay, Jim Carrey. Okay, so go away. Well, that was fun. Cool. Let's, uh, let's get away from that. It'd be funny if the phone was still ringing. What are those? Open. It was locked. Inkwell. Money? No. So many things I can't interact with. Yay! Aha! Money. Or something. Cigars and a pokey thing. Oops. Well, I got something to defend myself with. That's cool. And last drawer. Oh, another book. Okay, good. I can't even read it. Good. I don't have to feel bad. Oh, look! Boop! 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 Okay, extremely boring. I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Can I leave? No, I can't leave. Okay. That was fascinating. Great. I don't... Okay. Scratches on the desk. All right. Whoa. Hey, a clock. Oh, I can't click on it. Gosh, these click adventures are crazy when you can't click on anything. Yeah! Spin to the globe. So exciting. Okay. Um, let's... Oh, my God. This is the slow camera, apparently. <laughs> All right. There's a mirror. There's a painting. Sorry, guys. This probably isn't very exciting, but uh, it's supposed to be a horror game. I don't know. I will try to... Uh, the place was full of exquisite, albeit aged, candelabras. Why is everything in past tense? Um, Tablecloth cloths, napkins. That certainly isn't my thing. Mm. Alright. <laughs> Makes me think of the lone survivor from yesterday. Mothballs. I hate mothballs. It was just some useless junk. That's not very nice. Um, but yeah, if I can't find the, the remote control, I'm just gonna either play some of the newer ones on PS3 and uh, uh, Xbox 360, because I can record those right now. And or find a ROM version of, of the old stuff. So I certainly wouldn't have minded trying those expensive wines, except that nobody would have been around to pace me. <laughs> wow, so this guy has no self control apparently. He's like, What? There's wine? I can't stop from drinking all of the wine. Ah. So what's in this room? Is that the room we were just in? No. No, it is not. Oh, good. The, ring the phone's still ringing. Answer that phone. Hello. Hey, Jerry. It's good to hear your voice. I see that piece of junk you got there is working. My thoughts exactly. I was afraid it'd fall this apart as soon as I laid my fingers on it. So how did you find everything? Do you like the place? It's hard to tell yet. I'm very impressed, that's for sure. You sound old. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, yes. It's perfectly fine. It's just that I'm in awe. I mean, pleasantly surprised. This house is like a dream come true. I'm telling you, I'm going to turn this place into a factory of horror stories. Good. You ought to finish that book. I'm rooting for you, mate. You sure everything is in order? Well, I just got here. Let me have a look around, and I'll get back to you if I find anything strange. Excellent. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so apparently he's a horror writer. So, uh, it's like Alan Wake, but a lot less interesting. <laughs> Alright. Mm-hmm. Tell you what though, Michael sure patient. I was totally reading that book and everything. Gently ticking nearby, it was almost sleep inducing, but I was glad it was working. Cause I need to know what time it is. At all times. Huge vase of oriental craftsmanship standing by the window. I guess it's sort of sort of oriental. It was a rather torn umbrella. Go up the stairs. Up. Why can't I go up the stairs? very precise about where you're allowed to stand. I don't like it. Alright. Up the stairs. 
I remembered that Jerry had said a nice room had been prepared for me upstairs. A nice room? Is it? Is it full of corpses? Well, that's a busy, that's a busy painting full of- WHY?! WHY WOULD YOU HANG A PAINTING LIKE THAT ON YOUR WALL?! What's with all the dead bodies and the- Is that a camel? What even is that? Ugh. Ugh. Who decorated this house? Is this my room? Ooh, it's dark in here. Oh, no, it's not anymore. I quickly realized that this had to be my room. It became evident why, as I glimpsed the gorgeous view through the huge window. That's not a window, that's a mirror. How do you see through the window? Oh. A beautiful oak desk. My luggage was feeling heavier by the minute. Uh, extraordinary and inspiring view. The view was inspiring. Jerry had picked the right room for me. It would be ideal when doing some work. Why wouldn't you let him pick his own room? Interesting. Ugh, <sighs> oh, this game is awkward. I'm so spoiled by games that let you actually, like, move. Really. It was too early to go to bed. Not if we're playing Lone Survivor. I picked up this diary page. God, I'm tired. I need to go sleep for an hour. Or five. Oh, that's a famous picture. I'm not going to say anything disparaging about her giant nose. You know, she, she did the best she could. Aw, religious art. Always nice. I had to find a good spot to leave my luggage. First, I'll look inside this medical bag. I grabbed the stethoscope, which seemed to be about the only useful thing in the bag. That is not what a human body looks like. That is also not what a human body looks like. Why would you just randomly grab a stethoscope that you found on the ground? Oh. Oh, adventure game dudes. Okay, where can I put my stuff? What very precise spot is it going to let me put my luggage down? Here? No? No, no. Uh, 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 what does it want me to do? Okay, this game is annoying. It's very precise. Garbage! Why is it that I can't concentrate? Crumbling pages like this, I'm getting worse. And the whisperings, they're killing me. They cannot be real, they cannot be real. Barred the doorway, but still can... Hear them in my dreams. How to get rid of it? If it was only that simple, but tearing it apart would force me to admit this otherworldly nature. No! It just can't be possible. I can't allow these thoughts to cross my mind. But I can really hear them so clearly. Have I really lost it? It just can't be that I'm experiencing exactly what James did. It has to be influence. How else to explain that every time I walk past the gallery, the whispers grow louder. They're luring me inside. It wants me closer. I can hear them again. Yes, the tortured souls of the fallen... Now suffering for eternity. A chant. Next room. I know for sure it's source now. I can't fool myself any longer. Are those <coughs> dreams? Oh, please, for Christ's sake, don't let it be dreams. Oh, drums, sorry. Not the drums! I have to document this. I have to keep going because if James is right, only may God have mercy on our souls. Barred the doorway. Hmm, I wonder what had distressed the writer this much. So is another writer here? What happened to him? The books in the room were rather boring. No horror novel. Unbelievable. This guy is weird. Oh, I love this picture. That's a famous picture. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Doop -a -doop -a -doo. Where can I put my damn luggage? Here? What? What? What is... Why? What am I looking at? Is there a hidden thing? In the mirror? Is there a face? Is there a face? I'm totally like expecting somebody to come out and attack me. I n intended to brighten up the whole place, but to my surprise, the lights wouldn't work. Shocking turn of events. I'm not trying to go to bed. I'm trying to figure out where to put my damn bags. Put away my bags. Ew. More stuff to drink later. No, I don't want that drawer. I want the other drawer. Eh. Eh. Those are creepy. Ah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Those actually weren't that bad. I don't really care. I've seen worse. Ah! Empty drawer! What a jip! Okay. What else can I do? Mm, put your bags down. Put your bag down in the damn corner, you damn freaking adventure guy who's just like, no! No, it's, it must be perfect. A perfect corner for my perfect luggage. <laughs> That's how he laughs, I imagine. 
Go! Go over there. I don't I don't know where you want to put your luggage, dude. I, I don't know why you're being so precise about where to put your... Look at all this... St oh, my God. There's all this floor space. This little table could come in handy. What? To, to store your damn luggage? Like I'm trying to do? Hmm. A lot of lovely, grisly paintings. My luggage was killing me. We'll kill it back then. Maybe I have to hold it. Is that it? And then I, I can... Fine, I'll put it on the bed. Nope. The bed was not a good place. I had to sleep there. Fine, I'll put it on there. Yeah! I figured it out, finally. Michael Arthene, Vanishing Town. The most breathtaking painted turner of the year. Passing traveler, fetch rock, blah, 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 blah. Vanishing Town. What turns a lousy job for Parker eventually turns a nightmare. Okay, cool. A shirt, some random pens and notepads. Barbara. That's not even a real phone number. Doop, doop, doop. Michael, it took me months, but at last I think I managed. Well, I mean, think, so to speak, as there are only a few, few details left. But I can confirm with certainty that the house is yours. I owe you an apology because I didn't think it'd take me that much time. I tell you, I'd have never thought that finding a Victorian house and no more and no less than in Rothbury would have been so hard. The majority of the old houses in this region are either impossible to live in or they belong to the aristocracy. So buy them away from them? Most of the aristocracy is poor now anyway. As it, as if that wasn't enough, you and your bloody whims. Was it really that necessary being so cut off from town? Why this sudden need for solitude? Well, as long as you don't become one of those typical hermit riders. He's obviously totally a hermit rider. Anyway, this beauty will take your breath away. It belonged to a wealthy family that always took great care of it. Around the mid-60s, it became the property of one person, I believe a friend of the family. He lived there for about five years or so and then abandoned it. Yes, you read right, abandoned it. Always a good sign. As far as I know, this lunatic, a renowned doctor, spent his last days getting drunk in lousy bars before vanishing from the face of the earth. Because he has seen horrible things, obviously. Why someone would do that is beyond me. You couldn't find out any more information than that. <laughs> the house then became the property of the National Trust, and surprisingly enough, no one ever did anything about it. That is, until I rescued it from oblivion, of course. It took me a lot of work, so I hope you like it. Wow, so he re-renovated it, and this is what he made it look like? It's horrible. The price is just as we discussed earlier. I know it's hard to believe, but the price of the interior was never agreed upon, so whatever you find inside, be it furniture or a long-lost Rembrandt, it's yours. Just remember our deal. If you find anything of great value, you have to share it. Now, I won't bother you if, you so f if your sofa collection happens to be valued in the thousands, but if you bump into a hidden cache of money, and you can never know, really, then I want a piece of it. Wait a second. If you happen to sell any important item you find inside the house, such as your sofa collection, I have to get a part, too. Business is business, my friend. What a greedy little pit. 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 Brat. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Yep, that's the word I was going for. By the way, I sent two people over yesterday to clean it from top to bottom. Two people? That's it? Six years without inhabitants must have let a, let a, left a nice coat of dust, don't you think? They couldn't do wonders, though. And you are going to need weeks to fully clean that place. Thanks! Oh, they told me the house seems to have a rat problem, but you can't have it all. Should you need anything, don't hesitate. Give me a call. Your friend, Jerry. Oh, wait, no, he's Jerry. I'm Michael. That's right. Jerry, real estate agent. Ugh, it wants me to call people. That's that. Oh, I can't write it down? Okay, let's write it down. Let's open up a notepad. Barbara. <coughs> 0207 7, 2, 5, 4, 1. Alright. That's her. And then, oops, no, that's not what I want. Stop, I don't care. I'm not trying to read that. I'm trying to read that. Alright. Jerry is London. 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 0207-73764. Alright. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Um, what is, what is this? Is that more luggage? Wait, where can I put that? Yeah! Boop -a doop What is that? Oh, I got a typewriter. Fuck yeah. Let's let's make some notes. Oh, I can't put the. Ah, I want to put the thing in the thing. Okay, whatever. I thought it would be better to leave my typewriter and stuff ready. I'm trying, and it's not. Ugh. What is that? No, that's that's a journal. Okay, whatever. Goodbye. I don't care. I don't have any paper. 
There's nothing to click. Ah, there we go. I was eager to start doing some work, but the idea of exploring the place was too tempting. Well, I tried to leave, and you were like, No, I wasn't even ready. I'm again. Okay, whatever. Let's go walk around. Leave in the room to go do stuff in another room because I'm bored. Ah, uh, so many. Is she like throwing babies at chickens or something? What is happening? What is going on in this picture? Are those little tiny children, or just does someone really suck at perspective? I don't even, I don't even know. That one's not too bad. Just some guy getting cut into pieces, I guess, or something. Whoops! No, go back. Oh, hey, more vases. More vases. Let's go through this door. That took forever. <laughs> Oh, a bathroom. This is a great place to get murdered. There's even a towel. There were a couple of towels in the bathroom, bathroom, but a great deal of repair work would be necessary before I would attempt to take a shower. Drawers. Hand mirror. Can't look at myself. Great. Uh, I don't even know what that is. Blank. A shirt. Haha. -ha. Shaving gear, it looks like. I didn't look in the back door. I gotta go down to that door. Well, that's a nasty ass skink. Skink. Sink. Ugh, last door. Yeah, okay, I don't even know what's in there. <clears throat> Sudden urge to play The Sims. Apparently, the water wasn't running. Well, this place is shit. Why did I move here? <laughs> if you're gonna move to a mansion, it's kind of necessary that stuff actually works. Well, at least they left toilet paper. That was nice. Of that drunk guy. That's a really not safe looking thing. Music went away, I don't like it. Come back, music. Bad things happen when music goes away. Should I save? Can I save? I can save. Haha. -ha. Save. One. Haha. -ha. No one can murder me. Alright, so let's go down and go inside this drawer door. Door drawer. Drawer door. Everything makes exactly the same sound. I was unusually surprised after entering this room. It was some kind of gallery. Its theme being African culture. This is all the dude has after all his, like, I'm so obsessed with African stuff. Like a lion's claw. I was firmly attached. I could probably break it. There's some just random totem thingies. And a bow. How would you even... Is that an instrument? Because how would you use that if that's a bow? Yay, masks. They made me feel very uneasy. They seem to be guarding the room. All of those masks. All three of them. I can't look at the corner one. I'm gonna look at the corner one. Oh, Here's some pots. Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's so cute! Go look at Go look at cute little thingy! Go look at Oh, it's so cute! Oh! The view of the central display case was nicer from the other side. But this that has a cuteness on it! Oh! Oh, this game can't be scary. Did a cute little lion in the thing. Go that way. Eh. Eh. So precise. Yeah, spyglass. And booze. Little darts. Dear James, I'm going to be making use of these resting moments to thank you once again for your kindness. That shields that you've donated to us are wonderful. If it weren't for you, our selection dedicated to African objects wouldn't be anything else other than a mere collection of photographs. Also, I've been looking into these dalmas. You mentioned, I have to say, they seem to be rather fantastic. If it wasn't for your personal account of their activities, I'd dismiss them as old wife tales. I think if I saw them rip a guy apart, like the authorities would not get involved. I mean, maybe? That seems logical. I found a few books mentioning them, and I'd be very happy to lend them to you. It would be mailed at once. I hope you can satisfy your curiosity. Simon Russell. I want the spyglass. Give me the spyglass. Oh, I can't get a spyglass. The lamp seems to be broken beyond repair. Probably a souvenir of a hazardous journey. Doesn't look that broken to me. Play the drums! Aww. Aww. I wanna play the drums, you stupid game. Okay, go here. Eh. Eh. A pair of huge carved tusks were occupying a corner of the gallery. I wouldn't call those huge. Those are those are rather, rather mediocre. Oh, it's the pussy boo. The pussy pussy boo boo. Pussy pussy boo. Oh, it's the boo boo. The beautiful vases were mesmerizing. So that one, I can't even tell what that is. 
Looks like a face. I don't like it. That one looks oriental. <laughs> that one looks definitely oriental. Why is it in the African room? <laughs> oh, silly British historians that don't know things. It's about time for something to jump out and try to kill me, I feel like. But maybe that's just the mood setting. Oh, why can't this be my room? This one's way better. I like this room better. It's, it's prettier. The beds seem to be comfortable, but too fancy for me. I, I'm from the ghetto, man. I can't sleep on no four-poster. I would love... Look, look at that bed. I want that bed. I mean, it's probably pretty dusty, but after you aired it out and everything... There's no windows. Is there? Oh, there are. Yeah, there are. Okay. I was gonna say. <laughs> bedroom with no windows is way too dark. Look at that. Look. I mean, there's probably, like, all the monsters underneath it, but... Still, look at that. That's, I would love that bed. I would... I would... So many things to use handcuffs on. Anyway, um... <laughs> What is this? A diploma was displayed on the shelf. It appeared that the people who lived in the house were very educated! Exclamation point! And there's a trophy thingy that I can't look at. Several romantic novels and history books. I decided to stay away from them. Fuck romance. Aww. I like this picture, actually. She looks kind of dead. But I'm gonna choose to interpret it as her being bored. And the other one's just like, I'm gonna read a story! And the other one's like, I hate reading! Oh my. I didn't want to go through a bunch of trinkets and perfumes. How do you know that's what's in there? Ass. Hey, that might be worth a lot. And more people doing things. Pictures. Why would a chick have a picture like this? I guess there are some naked, half naked dudes in it, so I can see why. I have no reflection. I am a vampire. Alright, cool. This room's boring. Let's go. Leave. Is that a carpet or is that just like bare, bare wood? <laughs> All right, leave. Let's go call Barbara. Let's go see who the hell Barbara is. Let's go down the stairs. It's getting darker, but that might just be my imagination. It's darker, darker, darker. Ooh, we haven't been in this room yet, have we? I don't know. Yeah, lots of chairs for all my friends I don't have. It looked as if an untidy person enjoyed reading in the living room. This is untidy. It's like a single pile of books. Oh my god, are you a neat freak? Calm, calm your tits, man. Nice that they left it stocked for a fire. The fireplace had a generous amount of wood in it, and I was certainly relieved to know I could warm the place up in case it got cold. I'm certainly not good at chopping trees. Well, you're not generally supposed to come and chop your own trees. You're gonna, you know, buy firewood. Otherwise, you're gonna run out of uh, run out of trees pretty quickly. I think. I don't know. I've never lived in an area where you actually needed to chop trees for warmth, so. Ooh, piano. I always wanted to be a pianist, but eventually found another use for my fingers. Whoa! Kinky! He means he was a writer. Oh yeah, we already looked at that. Alright, so. Let's... Ooh. It was all gibberish to me. Don't worry, bro. It's gibberish to me, too. Let's go... There's the phone. Eh. All right, let's call our friend. I want, I called Barbara. <laughs> it's a rotary dial. Sure, her number's apparently two numbers. I wrote it down, I even have to write it down. Now I know. Ah, oh, no answer. Fine, let's call Jerry. Hello? Jerry, it's me. What's up, Michael? Everything seems to be fine, except the lights don't work. No, you don't have to worry. I've oh, you don't have to worry. You don't need light. An electrician, one that I trust. To meet you there this morning. Oh, good. I, I, I was afraid you'd someone you didn't trust. Issue in all places like that. You should be arriving soon. That's good to know. I'll set up my stuff and let you know how everything does. My make. stuff. Perfect. Have fun. Have sure. fun being alone in a giant creepy house by yourself. I expect you to be doing auto erotific what is it? Auto I can't remember the word is now. <laughs> auto erotic asphyxiation. That one! That's the word. Alright. Well I think there was one more level we haven't explored. Tip tip tip. Toop tap tip. Tape tip toop. I'm gonna get a lot of exercise going up and down. Doop a doop a doop. 
You know, this house a little bit reminds me of the one in uh, the Wrinkle in Time series. Just one of my all-time favorite book series. Oh, there's a creepy room. Dead bodies. Oh, no, just bricks. Dead bodies of bricks. Okay. Can I break open the priceless window? No? Okay. Paint! So many doors in this place. The amount of trash in this room is unbelievable! Ooh, 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 good, a weapon to defend myself. No, let me pick it up! Ass. Who was this? A little stove. I had to light the stove fast. Do I have... I have matches, haha! -ha. Since I had no intention of burning anything, I decided not to waste my matches. Fine! Fine! Fine, I didn't want to burn things anyway. I totally wanted to burn things. I wanted to burn all the things. Okay. I don't like these rooms. This place is getting scarier. Why are there so many tiny doors and tiny areas? Oh no, a stuck door. That's where all the bodies are. Clearly. Clearly. More garbage. And a weird little spiral staircase. A teeny tiny spiral staircase. Oh, it's so cute. It's a nice, nice tower window for me to throw myself out to commit suicide when I'm tired of living. <coughs> there. Large crack in one of the walls. A couple of old and rusty lamps adorned the tower. Okay, well, that was boring. I can't even go outside. Boring. I'm sorry, guys. I totally thought this was going to be like an actual horror game, not a walk around doing nothing game. Damn it! I want to go look at the bodies. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's go see what happens if we try to walk out the front door, and then if nothing exciting happens, we'll wrap this video up. And if you guys really want me to, after the 31 days, we can uh, we can try to play some more. But uh. Ooh, it's dark down here. Oh, okay. Why does it look so dark? And then I come down here and it's like, oh, no problem. It's fine. It's totes fine. Have we been down here? Is she playing with herself? What? What is going on in this picture? Or is that a boy? I can't even tell. I don't even know what's going on. What is this place? That's a famous one. That's realistic looking wheat. Again, with the no reflection. The drawer was stuck beyond hope. Well, with that attitude. This is a very confusing house. There are so many doors. Wow, another super fancy room. Who designed the layout of this house? Aha. Oh, that's the napkins, right. Okay. So I think we're going in circles. Alright, 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 alright. Cool. Cool. Um. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Where is the front door? Can I. Did I already look in here? Probably. Yes, I did. That's the booze that he can't control himself around. Oh god, booze, my only weakness! Okay, okay. There's another sitting room. How many sitting rooms do you freaking need in one house? Okay, let's go back up. Meh. Meh. Where's the damn electrician? Electrician. Electrician. Go outside. Are you going to be creepy people staring at me? Please be creepy people staring at me. I need to make this an actual horror game. Doop -doop -doop. Let's go over here. Follow this path. I changed my mind. I don't want to follow the path. <laughs> Fine, I'll try to follow the path. Let's go into the creepy nothingness. Ooh, a mausoleum. No ancient home is complete without one. The massive double doors and leading into the interior of the chapel were locked. Well, let's just break it down then. I don't have a key, do I? Is it, is it this key? Nope. Can I pick it? Nope. What is this? That's a stethoscope. That's a pen. I don't even know what these are. Okay, whatever. Fine, fine. I won't go in the chapel. See if I care. I don't, I don't even want to go in the chapel. Chapels for people want to get married. I don't want to get married. I got crazy religious, not religious. I got crazy uh, natives to, to find. Oh, is that the only path? 
thought there is. Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't want to go this way. I feel creep creeped out right now. <laughs> okay. Ooh, greenhouse. Awesome. Aw, I wanna. Oh, I wanna go in it. Okay, fine. Let's go back to the car. Let's go back to the car. Maybe. Where am I? Oh my god. Why is it so dark? It's so confusing. Ugh. Go back. Go back. Hmm. Uh, what's this room? Aha. Aha. No, that's probably not it. Pick it open. Damn it! Why can't you pick things open, you ass? Fine. Fine, let's just get in our car and leave. I went to the front gates, but there was no sign of the electrician. 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 Alright, fine. Let's go back to our house. And see what happens. If anything. Probably not. Boop. And then monsters! Nope. Okay, fine. Fine, alright. Well, we tried. Try one more time to call Barbara. Or maybe call Jerry. There's no electrician. Jerry, you lied. You liar. You're a lying liar. Ah, uh, you're busy. Screw you. How dare you not take my call? <laughs> Hello, Arthate Productions. Arthate Productions? What in heaven's name was that? Oh, hi, boss. I was just around. Well, don't. I don't want people thinking I'm some kind of studio. And don't call me boss. I'm sorry, it's just that no one was calling and all of a sudden I got excited. I told you it was going to be that way, girl. girl. I still need you there. I just hope you're not being bored to death. Oh, don't worry. I'm studying tongues during my spare time. I love that so <clears> much. That's great. That's oh, great. God. As soon as I publish my new book, that place is going to get riddled with phone calls and hundreds of fan mail. Hundreds! Boss. I know your new book is going to be a huge success. Of course it will. <clears throat> as soon as I find a proper ending. And stop calling me boss. As you wish, boss. Oh, sorry. Thanks. <laughs> Goodbye. Good luck. Right. Well, that was fun and fascinating and, and a romping good time. Uh, I'm gonna finish the video up now because I'm bored <laughs> and I'm not much for click adventures at least once I haven't grown up with um, so uh, yeah tomorrow there'll be a new video and the day after that a new video at least as long as I'm, I'm gonna keep trying to do this uh, come up with new videos as much as I can and um, I've got a text and uh, like I said if I can't find the pieces to actually um, record from my PS2, so I can do silent, all the Silent Hills and Resident Evils and stuff. I'll just have to find some ROMs, or maybe some remakes that I can uh, cheaply get. And uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Feel free to recommend games. Uh, a lot of you are already recommending the same ones, like The Evil Within, which is too expensive, and Five Nights at Freddy's, which I'm going to wait until closer to Halloween because everyone's doing Five Nights at Freddy's, Freddy's right now. Uh, that's about it. Alright. <laughs> Sorry for the not super exciting game, but uh, I, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bye.